We are often asked what's the difference between a slingshot system, a knock-open valve and a regulator. A knock-open valve self-regulates. As the air pressure drops, the valve is allowed to open longer to compensate for the decrease in pressure. If pressure drops too low, the effectiveness of this is decreased, as more air will escape the barrel than required. A regulator has a secondary chamber that meters a certain amount of air. When the secondary chamber is depleted, the regulator tops it up. Typically, this chamber will be set between 70 and 130 bar. Baystate had many regulators over the years. Here is the stainless steel regulator from 2004. The Daystate slingshot system replaces the regulator by moving the hammer out of the way after it strikes the valve. It does this through a centrally sprung core. The central core will not engage the valve stem until after the plastic outer shell is stopped by the valve face. The core then moves forward under its own inertia. This system is especially effective as the rifle starts to get low on air. Inertia, or slingshot as we like to call it, then allows the rear sprung central hammer to move forward, striking the valve and then the central core is pulled back out of the way by the spring. A regulated system is 50% more efficient than an unregulated system. The slingshot is 40% more efficient. For this trade-off in efficiency, you gain the use of high pressure air, which is more efficient and gives a better ballistic coefficient. Regulators do have their place in field target rifles where perfect shot-to-shot -shot consistency is important over the whole charge and a higher power range finding scope can compensate for increases in pellet drop caused by the poorer ballistic coefficient.